it's so jungle-y. Hi, Alistair. His back looks very messy. Peyton has a blood disorder. Uh, it's called thalassemia. I have whatever you just said. <laughs> so follow me. He's like, who are these people? She has a pretty severe form of it, so she gets blood transfusions um, about every three to four weeks. If I didn't have new blood, uh, I wouldn't get to do like fun things. I'm feeding an elephant here. It sounds so funny as he's crunching it. She has had 85 transfusions. That's close to 100. They're life-giving. Uh, they're the difference between her spending time in a hospital bed day after day after day or being able to live a normal life. They have long noses. We love Children's Hospital in Colorado. Um, it is the place for us and she gets amazing care there. The doctors know her. Um, they're always asking about things outside of her medical needs and make her feel like a person, um, like a valued person. There is one disease with Asian elephants, elephant endothelial heliotrophic herpes virus. Say that a million times fast. Ugh. And when an elephant gets sick with that, the best thing to do, they have to get a lot of plasma transfusion. Sometimes we even do whole blood. I think it would be very cool that an elephant would get to donate blood. Billy, Chuck, and Jake are all trained to back in over the vein cage, allows us to scrub their legs, find the vein. Our vet techs come down to actually collect it because then once the blood is collected, it goes up to the hospital for processing. We have been fortunate enough to be able to have our elephants trained for this where we have helped for other institutions. He did so good today. Yep, it's the same thing you have to do, right? The kindness and care that comes from people donating to other people, it's, it's kind of fun to think of animals having a similar, um, a similar experience. Can you wave? Wave. Wow. Bye, Jakey.